It's a, great, it's a great honor to receive this award. AFJ, I want to thank you for this prestigious award. But I want to thank all the people who supported us to make it possible. As the video said, my parents opened a store in Springfield, St. James. I really don't know why they went to that place to do business when there was no <laughs> industry. But anyway, long story short, when I saw the athletes, when I saw the workers that came to farm workers and brought up nice things, I said, Jimmy, uh, New York has to be a good place to go. And when I grow up, I'm gonna, gonna go to New York and here am I playing. There's no regret that I came to New York in the late 60s. I work hard, and those days I could only take $50 dollars the country. That's what the government allowed you. But I didn't have more than that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I came to America, I worked for $1.60 an hour, $49 take home, and I had to make do with that. My rent was $160 a month, so I had to put away $30 every week to meet my rent. But, you know, long story short, hard work would not kill you, otherwise I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> the reason why I stood on that job, I honestly did not have a green card. <laughs> I was not able to work legally. <laughs> And I have a book out there now, it's a bio autobiography of myself. When I was in Springfield those days, and when I came to the United States, I was, was picking up the pennies, and I bought the newspaper to look for a better job. Fortunately, I found a job delivering milk to homes at night, which paid me $140 a week. And then I had a part-time job gassing up the trucks and parking them, which a big substitute for my, uh, my salary. So I put away my salary and I used most of that to live on. Looking back in Jamaica when my parents had that grocery store, they had a general store and again there was no industry and again I don't know why they went there to do it. <laughs> he was so generous that the people would come to him, his name was Henry, and the people would say, Ma, Hen, I don't have any dinner for my family. Can you help us? We give them rice, codfish, mackerel, and all that stuff. Long story short, the, the store bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> he, would, he would also, he would also give them coffee. But those days there were no, uh, there were no ready-made clothes, so he cut off a piece of coffee and says, "Make, you know, uniform for your kids." So I saw the day when the Times Store had to take the cloth off the shelf and give him a receipt that, Mr. Hosa, you can't pay your bill. So coming to America, I know that because my father was so generous, I think it falls on me. Well, I tell my daughters here today who are here, I said, don't give away the store. <laughs> your grandfather gave away a store already, so <laughs> Good Lord has blessed me so much that we are now the largest Jamaican frozen food party in the world. We, we run three party lines that makes 40,000 parties an hour. And I have to thank my brother King, who said to me, Vinny, go look for a store, we try the party. If it doesn't work, then you go back to work. You're still a young man. <laughs> and God bless us that we never look back. And today, the business has grown tremendously. We are, our factory is 103,000 square feet on 10 acres of land. I'm running out of space again, and I have to go another expansion. So if anybody out there want to lend me 15 million, <laughs> I'll accept that. AFJ for the award, the prestigious award. Thanks everybody.
who had supported our business and made it possible. You can find all his product in Costco, Walmart, Sam's, DJs. Again, you know, running business, and there are many business people here who I can learn from, who can tell me that there's a lot of challenges in running business. So God bless you all, and thank you for this award, and thanks everybody for your support.